Hello, beautiful beings of light having a human experience. The beaver moon cycle is soon upon us. And this is also known in some traditions as the frost moon. And it is a celestial marker that truly all moon cycles are because they're deeply rooted in the wisdom of the Native American tribes and various cultures around the world for marking certain cycles and seasons. And this moon is preceding the winter solstice and truly serves as this natural signal for preparation and introspection. And so my invitation for you will be for sure to jump on and join our new moon and full moon, but to really be able to see this entire cycle of the beaver moon that is, again, the dark moon is happening on the 13th of November when they, they say the new moon. I consider that the dark moon where the moon goes void. I feel like a lot of humanity is trying to strip the rest as one of the most essential phases for all of life and to go completely dark or to where even darkness has this bad term. And the darkness is actually the holy womb space that can nourish us. And we need not fear the dark. We actually get to leverage it massively. And then on the 14th, that'll be day one is how I consider it, of the new moon cycle. The moon cycle is about 29, 29 and a half days. And then the beaver moon will have its last day of illumination on December 11th. And going into then a new moon, a dark moon on the 12th. So from truly November 13th, marking the void, through December 11th, the last day of illumination is your beaver frost moon. So just breathing in for a minute as the beaver is representing um, its ability for being diligent and preparing for winter by fortifying their lodges, their homes. And I also want to invite you, what's a greater home than your body? What is a greater home than your body? It is the home. It is the only home for our great spirit that gives us life. And we can use this beaver moon to take proactive steps to truly ensure that we are laying proper foundations that allow for us to be ready and resilient as cold months are not a problem for those who are prepared and i want to take a minute you know we're about to step into the um, political machine oh my friends the propaganda is about to get hot and heavy Talk about a cold, cold months. Right now, it is the time to not take that bait of that, oh my gosh, it's going to be so much or you're going to be stressed or divided. It's like, no, put your sword in the ground. Use this moon cycle to reflect on your own inner gardening of how um, much space you are keeping for yourself the foundation for communing with the light and fire of your own higher self this will fortify your personal and communal spaces against the coming frost (laughs) of what the machine has planned not just the winter season of being colder (laughs) as i have come to love I've, I'm not a fan of the cold I've actually started taking cold showers and, and getting in the cold pool in the cold ocean um, here but 
it is a, a time, the coldness is a time to go inward. And right now, though, we're preparing for the cold, right? As this frost moon, the beaver moon is rising and it's bringing with us it, this, these first kind of whispers of winter in a lot of areas geographically. And it is symbolizing the transition into a period of stillness and conservation. It's a time when growth is going slow and the natural world is hunkering down. And my friends, we are part of the natural world. Your body is a part of earth. Maybe if you were in a area where the seasons are flipped from where I am, there are still areas in your life where it is time to contemplate tending and preparing our home, our body. And really um, invoking our higher selves to invite this cycle in to reveal to us have our efforts been sustainable and nurturing to use this cycle to go within to evaluate the structures we've been building the relationships the careers for personal growth and to either reinforce them mindfully or take out the trash mindfully and i'm actually removing mindfully i feel like away from my vocabulary i'm going to say with awareness <laughs> I'm like, I don't want a full mind. I'm, I'm, I'm removing mindful from my vocabulary. <laughs> I am spacious. That's my new, my new word for mindful is spacious. <laughs> but just taking some breaths and knowing that you are embarking on a cycle where reflection of yes, work hard, but work smart. When we work smart, we plan ahead and we invoke our higher selves to plan with us. And we don't just create action, we create space for a cozy nook of warmth and safety within, which is then reflected without. And based on the timeline for the political machine, this is very empowering and important for those of us who are ready to be courageous enough to have peace during all of the chaos when the rest of the world is going to want to suck you in and i've been sucked in before and i know the difference of not being sucked in and being sucked in and being empowered versus giving my power away and the beaver is not just about surviving it's about thriving this season it's got its whole little home hooked up and your body is your home. And this beaver, frost, moon, sovereign temples, we are actually going to be having a 90 seconds a day connection to, based on um, where the moon is operating in the sun, a, a short daily spark of light to remind you to invoke your higher self and to honor a certain part of your body and to get reconnected with all of the organs in our body our breath right el kalim om earth air and space fire and water are also the the aspects that make up our body all the minerals right this the dirt <laughs> we're literally earth formed our higher self is forming our bodies with these elements of earth and the great spirit moving through our lungs providing energy for every single organ right the reflection of the spiritual organs the chakras our liver our kidney our heart right and so we're gonna have these daily sparks where under 90 seconds 
we just invite everyone to commune with their body and to have our minds spacious and empty and connected to our heart and you know that the intention that we have at sovereign temples is to not be anyone's teacher um, is to simply remind us remind everyone that the teacher lives within you and yes we all take on roles of being a teacher a student and an advocate um, a healer right to some degrees and we're all dancing around and in, in all of these hats really but i believe the greatest teachers remind us all that we have the master that we can plug into to plug into the source of all that is and that is your own higher self light and so that will be our intention of these 90 um, second daily sparks under 90 seconds some might be even like 30 seconds and again communing and connecting with one part of our beautiful bodies so that we can truly um, take advantage of this season of the beaver moon and the frost moon as an opportunity to really evaluate our own personal structures within and to really allow every organ in our body to to know hey we're listening to you we're listening to what you're communicating to us to uh, build stronger structures that are more sustainable versus being like trying to just get through everything so fast <laughs> and trust me i i know I, I love speed like the need for speed i release the need for speed is one of my um written on my mirror i release the need for speed but i welcome communion with my higher self and momentum i welcome the momentum of my higher self that it brings but i release my human ego's need for speed but I, I recognize my human ego and I love it for it wanting to go fast. <laughs> but I think that that's really what so many of us are, are really praying for is to be more in balance, you know, with, with everything um, instead of swinging the pendulum so far, you know, to one side. So I look forward to our new moon and full moon meditations. Be sure to get connected um, on our platforms and notified. And I do have a new um, website coming out that will allow you to get very connected just with like the daily sparks. And that should be up soon. Um, but that is, or will be depending on when you're listening to this, uh, lightbody.technology is the website so there's no.com it is just www.lightbody.technology and we have a lot of fun things in the work to send out daily sparks of light um, for people that also want those fun fun little reminders um, sent to their phone every single day to remind them to take a breath connect to their higher self and what's up with the moon and the sun and just a short little reminder of how much power lives within us and the one that we seek is waiting for us patiently within so i hope everybody is ready for an awesome new moon in beaver frost and i'm looking forward to this entire uh, moon cycle with this beautiful community that is courageous enough to love themselves, to come back into balance with their own inner cycles and allowing nature to support them in doing so. So I'll see you guys throughout this um, beautiful season and cycle that is now upon us. All my love and light. Namaste.